Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. This is Oli, and today we're going to be installing a range uh, receptacle, and we'll show you step by step how you need to do that. First step you're going to need is to obtain a range receptacle itself, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can get one exactly like this. This is uh, up to current codes. This is a 50 amp receptacle, and we have four wires uh, because if it were an older um, existing wiring, it may only have three, but in this case we have four. The ground, uh, a neutral, and two hots. So we'll go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is just take a utility knife. I'll leave a link in the description to this exact utility knife. It's uh, my favorite. And we're going to strip the sheathing back about a half an inch. Now the way we're going to do this is basically just roll your utility knife around the outside edge of the sheathing, like so, and then go ahead and take and make a slit like this. And then you should be able to just peel this off around like that. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same to uh, these three other two conductors here. Got all three uh, stripped back here, so we are ready to move on. Here's our wiring diagram inside this box here. You can see that the top uh, terminal is the ground. One on either side is the each leg uh, of 120 volts. And the bottom one is the neutral. I'll show you on the actual device here. So we've got ground, line, line, neutral. So we're going to go ahead and hook those up accordingly and uh, keeping in mind that we're going to need to get this thing pushed in here. This is the orientation that you want this to be in because the cord is going to be facing down from here. Uh, so that is the way we're going to do this. Wow. So we just loosened the screw here so now we're going to go ahead and start with uh, one of the legs of 120 volts. So uh, we got this just stubbed in here and we'll go ahead and tighten this up. Now what you want to do is you want to tighten this down and then when you think you have it pretty tight then you go and you wiggle this like this and then you should be able to tighten it some more. And do that a couple times. That just helps the, uh, the, the individual strands of copper kind of separate and allows you to get it nice and tight. So, and that's important since we've got such a high amperage application here. So now we'll move on to the neutral and paying attention to how these are in the wall here so that hopefully we'll have the easiest situation possible for getting them pushed in. <clears throat> we're going to loosen this up here. So I'll check back in. And finally, we're going to hook up the ground wire here. You can just pop that in and tighten it up. Now, this is the part that will be a little bit challenging, and it's going to be a matter of maneuvering this into position on the box. Those are all nice and tight now. So, I'll work on this for a bit. All right, so here we've, uh, I've got this finally now where it's a little bit closer. And we're just about ready to put the screws in. But boy, oh boy, it is just really a challenge to get that thing in there just right. So it's just a matter of uh, finessing the wires. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, anchor it in place. All righty, so we've got her in place here now and tightened in to the wall, so we are good to go. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.